Hello there guys, welcome to a bit of a random YouTube tutorial today. Uh, I received a pretty interesting comment. Some, I was making a, a comment on a video and uh, I briefly mentioned a machine gun that you could fire and then it has explosive rounds. So these rounds embed themselves in something and you hit a key and they blow up. So for example here, so I shot a few rounds over there and I didn't see anything, but I hit F and they all blow up. Um, if I just toggle the... Uh, debug line on for the single line trace so i'm placing explosives at all of these lines right now so this is like my machine gun going off i'll wait for those lines to clear and then uh, i'll press the f key and they all detonate um okay so i'm going to show you how to do this so i'm going to um i'm going to bring this on over here uh, and because it's a quick tutorial and not a proper you know it's not really something that i think many people will use but it's it's, it's fun to make anyway so I'll just talk you through how this works. So you have your input action fire button here. So this is like when you press down your left mouse button uh, to fire um, and that goes into a gate. And so pressing it opens the gate and releasing it will close the gate. Uh, and plugged into that gate is an event tick. So we're gonna fire one of these shots off every frame. Then we have the line trace by channel and I have a tutorial up for this. So if you need to, those aren't needed anymore. If you need to learn how to do this, uh, doing a single line trace by channel, it's here, or there's a uh, as an entire tutorial dedicated to this. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. So go and check that out. Um, so once we've done our line trace, we're going to break the hit result, and all we want from that is the location. So all we want to know is where has this bullet landed, uh, and we're going to make a transformation from that. The rotation doesn't matter for an explosion. The scale, this will scale how big your explosion is. So you know if you want bigger explosions than what I just did. In fact, let's scale that up uh, tenfold. So once we've done that, we're going to spawn an actor. So I'll go and show you this actor now. So this is the explosive rounds actor. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll make one just to show you how to do this. So you make a new blueprint class. Well, a blueprint class of type actor. Uh, explosive 2, we'll name this. So inside explosive 2, you want to add a component of type particle system. And you want your particle system to be of the explosion so there you go and very importantly you need to scroll down over here and turn off auto activate so we don't want it to blow up as soon as it lands if you want it to blow up as soon as that thing lands then you would leave auto activate on and in fact let's just try that real quick so i'm just going to change the code on the other screen let's just see what that's like what's it like when it blows up real quick so hit play there okay yeah we set the scale too big but um so let's go and scale that down in uh this one here the first person character blueprint sorry I'm, I, I, it seems a bit rushed um so let's scale that down to one and we'll see what it's like to explode on impact so you have this crazy like i suppose you could use it for a welding effect if you have some kind of welding game you know that's kind of cool but yeah, so let's go back to how you make this thing. So we have our explosive rounds. We don't want anything in here. Sorry, we, we've got the particle system and we're gonna turn off auto activate. So we need a custom event. And I'm gonna call it explode. Um, what explode is gonna do is it's gonna get a reference to the particle system and it's gonna call activate. Uh, and because we're gonna be spawning actors in the world, what we need to do is put a delay on here of something like three seconds and then we need to destroy the actor. We don't want to leave all of these bullets lying around in the world because it's just actors. It's just going to clog up your RAM. It's going to make your game slow. So that's our explosive round. It's as simple as that. So back in the first person character, you see now that we're going to spawn what we've just built there, explosive two. Um, explosive rounds is the one that I, ha I had prepared before I started recording. Uh, explosive two is the one that we've just built now. So, um, oops, I meant to of course because i've changed the type so i'm actually going to switch back to mine just to explain the rest of this tutorial so once you have spawned your rounds what you need to do is create an array i really should have named my variables that's best practice but because i was rushing just to see whether this would work or not i didn't name my variables naughty me so i have an array up here of type explosive round and i'm going to add each of the rounds that i spawn into this array uh, and this thing is also unused code so we'll get rid of that so we're just going to add them all into an array we're going to spawn them all in the world they're not going to explode and we're going to put them all in an array so when i now press the f key 
for each of the explosive rounds in this array, think of an array as just a list. We just have a list here. So for every item in that list, we're going to call explode on it. So because it's a type explosive round, we can call explode on that. And then we're going to remove it from the array so that when we start shooting again, we've got a new different array. So we'll compile that together. Go into, I keep closing this. I play World of Warcraft. If you want to add me on Battle.net, here I am. Alaris hashtag 2795. Uh, okay, so let's go back into the map. Let's fire off some rounds. Let's like coat this cube in like hundreds of them. So you can see my actor count going up down there. 548 actors. Let's wait for those horrible red lines to clear. And we'll hit F. And your explosive rounds detonate. So I mean, obviously you can do a lot with this. There's there's a tutorial that I actually have up. I'll link this one as well in the in the description on radial force, so pushing things with an explosion. So you imagine you, you, you place a couple of these explosive rounds down, right, and you're hiding. You've laid down this whole line and then the enemies start to run across and you detonate that. Now you can blow them up, you know, you can blow them and actually move their characters around with the radial force actor. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. It was a very, very quick one. It was just showing you how you can achieve a pretty fun effect here. So again, we'll do one more demonstration of these really cool explosive rounds. And like I said, this line trace tutorial, you can you can find that on my channel along with uh, the radial force actors if you wanted to make your explosions a little bit more powerful. So let's detonate that. Boom. There we go. And because they haven't actually destroyed all the actors yet, you can keep pressing F. So there's a couple of bugs in this, but it's a rush video uh, i just wanted to put it out it was only really for one particular person who showed some interest in this so dude here's your video thank you very much for watching guys stay subscribed for the next for the upcoming content and i'll see you on the next video take care bye bye